In February, we reported on a new virtual tool that VA is using to help the almost 40,000 veterans who have returned from Iraq and Afghanistan with symptoms of PTSD. An Army reservist and MP in Iraq, Gerald De La Sala returned home to New York City with apprehension and fear. I couldn't go under overpasses. He felt like he was still on patrol, wondering if insurgents and explosives were hiding by every overpass. I had to pull over to the side of the road, literally, and find myself at times staring at the overpass. And your mind is saying to you, you're home, but your body is doing something else. Stressed and on edge, De La Sala turned to VA psychologist Dr. Michael Kramer for help with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. He introduced me to virtual reality, and it was this thing that, I'll be honest with you, that I, I was like, what, you want me to play a video game? And, and you know, because <laughs> that's what it looks like. A video game platform altered for use in therapy. It's called Virtual Iraq, bringing the veteran back to the front lines with a therapist in tow. I will expose them to some of the traumatic experience they may have been through in Iraq, and the goal is to slowly but surely have his distress or anxiety levels rise. Can you give me a and scale of zero to 10 right now? How you doing? It's like five. Okay. The goal being, if we can get it to a certain maximal point, the body will slowly but surely over time learn to adapt to that anxiety, and the anxiety will be reduced. The purpose of virtual reality exposure therapy is very different than it would be in a game. The purpose is not to win, it's to have the experiences that they went through be evoked vividly enough so that they can really, in some ways, relive, re-experience the initial trauma in the safety of a therapist's office. Simulation technology, like the kind we've just seen with virtual Iraq, is becoming more and more common at VA medical centers.